We're going to do a little minor blog surgery here on our WordPress installation. This is a brand new WordPress uh, blog that I got. Uh, matter of fact, this may be running on this very blog right here. Uh, blogsecurity.info is the site. And what I'm going to show you is how to change the uh, table prefix. In Control Panel, we're going to go into our uh, tool. It's called, where is it under database? PHP My Admin. We're going to get into this file, which is the uh, configuration file, wp-config.php. Uh, currently, uh, in that file, you'll see that the table prefix is wp underscore. This is standard when it's installed by most uh, third-party installers like Fantastico and, and it's often a great idea to change the table prefix because this is one of the areas of weakness with an SQL injection hack attack. So we're going to change that by going into, into our uh, database PHP my admin tool and we're going to find our database okay we see our database and our table prefix we're going to go into export from here we're going to export hello there you go we're going to select all it's probably going to be fine with the default settings as an SQL, all the data, all the structure. Uh, save it as a file and I'm not going to compress it at all and just hit go. This will export your file. We're going to save it on the desktop. We're going to save it uh, to the desktop and we're going to open it up in a code editor or a text editor. Um, in my computer right here I'm going to I'm going to choose a text edit because that's the best choice I've got. You should use a, a text editor or a code editor and I'll list several of those there on the blog uh, that you can use but uh, text edit should work and here is the file it's a pretty long file full of text and we're going to get to work on it okay uh, we're going to be changing all the WP underscore the WP underscore prefix it's got to be changed to increase our security. So what I'm going to do is go into my program and I'm going to find everything that has WP underscore. And then this is where I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace it with, um, since this is for WordPress users group, I'm going to put uh, WordPress meetup like this with an underscore. It has to end with an underscore. So we're going to replace all of them. It replaced 65 different prefixes with the new prefix. So now we're done and we're going to save this file. I'm going to save it as 2 on the desktop. And we have a new file there on the desktop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my um, back to my account here. find my structure. I'm going to choose everything, check all, and I'm going to drop. This will delete everything. So we've completely deleted the files. 
Okay, now we've got to replace everything. We've lost all our files. So I'm going to import. I'm going to find the file that we just... Uh, this is the file right here. We're going to put that file in here and go. Alright, we've got that fixed. There's our new structure and we have WPM33TUP. I say it says meetup. WordPress meetup underscore. So there is our new table prefix. However, there's still one more change we need to make uh, because our wp-config.php file needs to refer to this as well. So we'll find that in our uh, control panel. So in here I'm going to the cPanel to the file manager. I'm going to find that config file which is wp-config.php this has got to match your database and I'm going to use the code editor I'm going to edit that code and I'm going to find the table prefix right here I'm going to change this WordPress Meetup. I'm going to save those changes. And now we're going to go back to the file manager. We're going to try to get to our uh, blog, which is probably going to send us packing. Ah, everything is working. So we've changed our table prefix. We can go into our uh, PHP my admin and see that the table prefix has changed. Now you've got a much more secure blog. Stay tuned for the next video for a little more.